It is the worst losing streak for stocks since 1980. More on that in just a moment. But we begin with jobs and wages. And if you've been thinking about asking for a raise, now may be the time. Today's employment report showed a pickup in average hourly earnings as businesses raise pay in order to attract a smaller pool of available workers. According to the Labor Department, the economy added 161,000 jobs last month. The unemployment rate ticked lower to 4.9 percent. Average hourly earnings rose 0.4 percent to the fastest annual pace since the end of the Great Recession. Hampton Pearson has more on the last jobs report before the election and what it may mean for Wall Street, Main Street and the Fed. There was an October surprise in the final jobs report before the presidential election. A pay raise for American workers. In the last 12 months, average hourly earnings are up 2.8 percent to just under $26 an hour, the biggest pay raise in seven years, according to the Labor Department. The workers have been looking for a, a meaningful raise for quite some time. They deserve that raise, and we're seeing this sustained evidence that they're, they're getting it. October hiring was led by 43,000 new hires in professional and business services, which includes mostly higher paying jobs in engineering, accounting, and information technology. Healthcare also continues to be an engine of job growth, adding more than 39,000 new workers. The unemployment rate dipped to 4.9 percent. The biggest disappointment? Manufacturing, which cut 9,000 jobs last month and more than 50,000 in the past year. We're getting service employment, but not manufacturing employment. We're getting the lower paid uh, wage wages rather than the higher higher paying wage uh, industries hiring. The combination of job growth with higher wages and signs of increased consumer spending could trigger the boost in inflation the Fed has been looking for. I think if all of the inflation pressure that we get it comes from wages, it's a great thing, it's a solid thing for the U.S. economy, and that companies have plenty of margin, um, you know, room in their margins to absorb slightly higher wages, and especially if, especially if it leads to greater consumption. Most Fed watchers say today's jobs report increases the odds for a rate hike in December. The biggest remaining X factor? Market reaction to the outcome of the presidential election. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Hampton Pearson in Washington.